Are we almost there? He's pretty out there. I thought you said he looked close. He does. This is close. You trust him? He knows what he's talking about? Yeah, he's trained by the best, the United States Marine Corps. Joseph Maka. I'll call you Joey. I'm Edward. You just call me Ed. These look really good, man. Nice work. In 2048, the oceans are gonna be empty. How deep is this anyway? 200 feet. God knows that dam wants to come down. We all should know what we're dealing with oh, here. Can you please shut up? Howdy. How you guys doing today? I thought you said no one would be here. When we split up, we shouldn't talk. Yeah, no contact. No, no contact. contact. People are talking. Who's talking? Well, you don't think she would do anything stupid? I don't know. That's why I'm calling you. What are you going to do? What do you mean? I mean, are you going to do anything? What did you think was going to happen? One person, that's all it takes. You said no one would get hurt. This trailer is getting a lot of attention, more than it normally would, uh, but the reason it's being picked up by so many uh, media websites is because it stars Jesse Eisenberg in a scheming role. And a lot of people are running with the uh, angle, hey look, this could be potentially what his Lex Luthor looks like. And I'm sure the producers of Night Moves have no problem with that line of thinking. And even I myself, uh, when Runner Runner came out, uh, said that people should check out that film for shades of uh, Ben Affleck's potential Batman performance. So it isn't. I think people are so curious to how that film is going to shape up, Batman versus Superman, that they're looking to other films for some kind of uh, some kind of hint, some kind of lead as to what will what's going to take shape under Zack Snyder. And I guess that's because those roles are so oddly cast, so out of the box thinking that people just can't wrap their head around it, and they're looking to ground it in some sort of reality. Uh, as for me. I don't think this will be his uh, Lex Luthor performance. I think that Jesse Eisenberg, to really make that role work with uh, Zack Snyder, uh, is going to have to push himself further than he ever has before. And I think here, while it's a more adult performance, you're seeing him play a fully-fledged adult, it seems to me at least, uh, and that's a step forward to him out of playing, you know, more of the college students that he has. Uh, I think this and Now You See Me are, you know, him, uh, Jesse Eisenberg moving his career forward and what looks to maybe be quite an interesting career. He could actually end up being an A-lister, which, you know, I, some people would argue he already was with his Oscar nomination for The Social Network, but, you know, I'm also talking box office draw. But I think that for Lex Luthor to succeed, he's going to have to push himself further than this. We're going to have to see shades of Jesse Eisenberg we haven't seen before, uh, I think, to really pull people in. Because here, even though... He, I, I like the adult angle. I think that it's, you know, it's Jesse Eisenberg. I think he has definitely a persona. And some of the most successful movie stars in the world have a very distinct persona of all time because audiences like to know what they're going to get. I mean, Tom Hanks doesn't have a huge amount of range. He just says a lot of truth to his performances. And I think we're seeing that with Eisenberg. Uh, so I'm very excited to see him progress as an actor, both professionally and artistically. Now, as for Night Moves itself, it's interesting also to see Dakota Fanning back. Elle Fanning, her sister, has been getting the line Lion's share of attention these days, especially with Maleficent coming up. But I think she looks like, I think Dakota uh, Fanning looks like she's doing a nice job here. Uh, poor Dakota Fanning. I keep wanting to saying Dakota Johnson because of all the Fifty Shades of Grey coverage. So we have two, two Dakotas. That always sucks. Uh, but I hope, I hope Dakota Fanning can, you know, hold her own and stay in the fight. And Peter Skarsgård obviously is al always very good. And this kind of film is his specialty. But I really like this film a lot. I mean, taking out the hyperbole from the reviews they're already referencing, like, oh, it's almost Hitchcockian. I'm like, we'll decide. But I can see the potential for that. 
Uh, and I like kind of looking at this dark side of environmentalism. Uh, and it's interesting to have this uh, trailer hit the same time that Noah's coming out, because you can check out my Noah review. I'll put a link at the end of this uh, trailer. But I think that, you know, Noah does deal a lot with environmentalism and, you know, the violence of having, you know, that it sometimes comes to violence to protect it. Uh, and so I, I see that element here, you know, like, what are you going to do? I mean, picketing and protests will only go so far. Uh, so this looks very interesting to me. Very, very good. And I think it's the most commercial film we've seen yet from this filmmaker. I've certainly heard of her work before. It's done very well on the festival uh, circuit. But I think perhaps with Jesse Eisenberg, once again proving his potential box office uh, uh, draw, being a box office draw, I think she has the chance here to reach her biggest audience yet. So this looks very good to me. Uh, and I do think the exciting elements of it, I think, really will make it potentially cross over out of the specialty market into the mainstream. But what do you think? Are you intrigued? What do you think of uh, uh, looking at environmentalists this way? Do you think, you know, uh, we've been talking a lot about a lot about this week about irresponsibility. Uh, how do you feel about uh, showing them in this light? I think I think it's always responsible to show the darkness that anyone can go to. Uh, and, you know, the consequences is obviously are being explored here. So I think it's very, very interesting. And I, I definitely want to see the film. It looks very good. And I think it's another notch in Jesse Eisenberg's uh, belt, which is getting a lot of notches. So write your thoughts down below. Thank you so much for tuning in to my uh, trailer review. And you can check out some more episodes right now.